Hey guys, Lowell here, and it is Friday night, and I thought it would be fun for us to do a video game review for the video game section of the YouTube channel. If you know me, you know I love Sega Saturn, and one of the best developers on the Sega Saturn was Sega AM2. People who uh, brought us uh, fine games like Shenmue, which started out as Virtua Fighter RPG, which we are seeing uh, footage of. This game was actually never released, but this game looks insanely good, and it is for the Sega Saturn. Now, while this game was never made available to the uh, public, the uh, graphics engine uh, to this game was actually released to the public uh, to whet people's appetite in Japan and you know possibly around the world for uh, the uh, beautiful power that the Sega Saturn had hidden within it. So uh, what is this game that I'm talking about that uh, served in some sense as the precursor to Virtua Fighter RPG which would evolve into Shenmue? Well, uh, you may or may not know that... Uh, Amuro Nami has a game on the Sega Saturn that goes by the name of Digital Dance Mix. And if you look on the back, you'll see it was developed by Sega AM2. And uh, it is uh, the game we're going to be reviewing tonight. Amuro Nami is the, uh, one of the uh, biggest pop stars in Japan, hugely popular in the 1990s, uh, and is the uh, darling of the Tetsuya Komuro stable of female singers of the 1990s. So without further ado, we are going to review her game for the Sega Saturn. Now, unfortunately, um, the first uh, take of this that I uploaded during the day was taken down um, because of ridiculous ridiculous copyright policies for Japanese music on YouTube that are increasingly random, um, but um, I uploaded a video of this and now it's no longer on my channel and I got a copyright notification about it, so um, we're going to have to play this with no music, which I think is pretty absurd since the, this game basically serves as a way to listen to Amuro Nami music while looking at the beautiful uh, power of this AM2 Sega Saturn uh, graphical engine. Um, but without further ado, let's get down to this review. I'm going to hit the lights and uh, you enjoy Digital Dance Mix Volume 1, starring Amuro Nami. I'll be right back. cool thing about this game is we have several options. The one that you're looking at right now uh, is under the category of Digital Dance, and you can also do Karaoke and Presents, which features some nifty mini-games. So under Digital Dance, uh, this is where you really see the graphics engine uh, really shine, and you know, I don't want to minimize this game and say, oh, this is just the graphics engine to Shenmue RPG and Virtua Fighter 3 on the Sega Saturn, because uh, it's much more than that. If you are a fan of Japanese pop music and Amuro Nami, uh, this is an awesome disc, because you can listen to uh, songs like You're My Sunshine and Chase the Chance, and uh, also have remixes of them. Them. So you're basically getting, uh, you know, two singles and two remixes on an amazingly popular video game system in Japan with its best graphics ever and maybe really the best graphics of the 32-bit era present on this system. Um, now you can mess with the backgrounds here. And by mess, I mean just look at an option of them. And you can also change different costumes that she wears and also have this Chibi Amuro Nami. And this really shows you what Sega's, um, Sega Saturn's uh, graphic engine developed by Sega AM2 um, really could do. And uh, if this was, if you had a chibi RPG, um, this is what it could look like. So it's very interesting. And if you want to have something more anatomical and photorealistic, uh, but still polygonal, this is what you could get. So you really get to see the range of what Sega Saturn can do uh, while listening to some amazing music, which sadly you won't be able to listen to on this video because I don't want it to get taken down for a second time. Um, but let's actually choose this outfit, which uh, looks rather fetching, uh, to uh, chase the chance right here. And um, we'll hit start, and we'll look at some uh, visuals from this, and then we'll check out the mini games. Um, so right here, what we are going to see 
is uh, this uh, nice background here, which uh, is unfortunately black right now, so it's not getting along with my racist telephone. Um, but what you can see in the background are some uh, characters here, and uh, you'll notice that their colors are changing, but also that um, you're going to see that they will turn transparent. And the interesting thing about that is that Sega Saturn allegedly could not do transparencies, uh, but it's going to be showing you right here that, in fact, Sega Saturn can do transparency and uh, actually do it rather well with this Sega AM2 graphical engine. Um, but right now we just see Amuro Nami hopping up and down and singing and um, doing all kinds of fun things. So here we see the transparency and uh, it's uh, looking quite good and really I can't think of anything from the 32-bit era that looks this good. Not on the Nintendo 64 and not on the Sony PlayStation. So very very cool stuff. Um, I'm going to show you a clip now of the uh, the Chibi Amaro Nami. And let's actually uh, switch songs here and uh, get a background that will show up a little bit better on the phone here. And uh, you're right here we have uh, different models here. Uh, in addition to... Um, you know, showing off the transparency power, you really get to see the massive color palette of the Sega Saturn in full effect here. And uh, if we were listening to the music, uh, you'd really hear the CD quality sound that the Sega Saturn has, which is very, very rich and very, um, very beautiful. This game is very aesthetically pleasing, um, and it's something great if you want to uh, just have playing in the background, if you want to sit down and uh, listen to some Japanese pop music and see some cool visuals on your TV, uh, and you want to see uh, varying forms of Amuro Nami on the Sega Saturn uh, dance around. Uh, this game's for you, but wait, there's more. I can actually rotate this camera around by using the D-pad, and um, we can look at above, we can look underneath, we can, you know, look all over the place here um, by rotating the camera, we can zoom in, um, so very, very, very cool stuff here, um, and uh, it's just Really, if you like Japanese pop music, if you like Hey 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 Music Champ, if you like the Sega Saturn, uh, you can't really ask for a better game uh, than uh, the Digital Dance Mix uh, Amuro Nami Volume 1. So let's actually go now to some mini games, and uh, I'm going to actually turn the volume on uh, because um, we're no longer in the portions of the game that uh, would have actual Amuro Nami singles playing, so we should be safe from this video getting taken down. So I'm going to hit my volume. Now if we go down to Presents, we actually have mini games based on Amuro Nami songs. A profile of uh, Amuro Nami uh, with uh, a discography, which is very cool. So you can see her single covers here. And uh, now Japanese uh, singles in the 1990s often came on these uh, very, very cool um, long-sleeved mini-discs. So, very cool. And uh, now we're back to her profile. We can actually go into this sound test menu here, and we can just listen to different effects that the game has. Nice. Okay. Nice. So, and now, uh, the games we have here, uh, Chase the Dance. Uh, this is actually a rhythm game that uh, uses the Chibi Amuro Nami. And the cool thing about this game is like it shows different styles of games that the Sega Saturn can do with this graphics engine while showcasing uh, very cool Amuro Nami stuff. Oh, shoot, there's an Amuro Nami song here. I'm really hoping this doesn't get uh, cut off. No, it doesn't. It's okay. This is just instrumental, so we should be fine.
So, we did okay. And uh, let's actually go to the next game here. This is a Door My Sunshine, inspired by the awesome song You're My Sunshine. And I'm going to actually set this to the uh, easy difficulty for the purposes of this review. And uh, basically what we're going to have to do is this is a puzzle right here. And we're going to have to find the missing piece of the puzzle right here. And I believe this is going to do it. And the door will open up. And we're going to see Amaro giving us a cool dance here. And let's actually retry. Do another one here. And I believe that one is going to be this one here. No, it's not. Darn it. Maybe. Hmm. This one. So, uh, let's actually uh, check out another mini game here. This uh, game down here, uh, Walk in the Maze, as opposed to Walk in the Park, um, which is an awesome Amaro and Ami song, uh, basically shows the uh, potential for really cool 2D sprite work with this graphics engine. So let's check it out. And basically what we have to do is we just essentially have to do a little maze puzzle to get to Amaro. Should do it. Nice. So let's retry and see uh, what this next game has in store for us here. Oof, that's not good. No, this should be easy actually. Nope, darn it. This should do it. And we got her. And that's that game. So, fun stuff. I mean, uh, nothing uh, too hugely groundbreaking here, but um, fun nonetheless. Now, Sweet 16 Cards is a matching game where we can uh, basically do um, a card puzzle of uh, matching to basically unlock cool pictures of Amaro Nami. So, it's just letting us take a look at where the cards are right here. Almost there. And that'll do it. So we get this snazzy Amaro Nami picture right here. Showing uh, the photorealistic capabilities of the Sega Saturn. Uh, Sega Saturn, you know, everyone says like, oh, it's a 2D powerhouse, but it couldn't do 3D. That's absolute nonsense here. Uh, now, it is true that uh, not everyone knew how to program for the Sega Saturn. Uh, but nevertheless, um, this engine here, I think had it been actually put into use, um, the Sega Saturn would have uh, had some very impressive visuals uh, that are, uh, you know, pushing far beyond the boundaries of really anything on the Sony PlayStation. I mean, the closest thing I can think of is like maybe like Chrono Cross or Tekken 3. But honestly, I think this looks much better. And if you just took, and if you took a look at Virtua Fighter RPG at the start of this video, again, uh, amazing stuff. So Sega was always very keen to release hardware, um, but I think had they stuck with the Saturn software longer, uh, things would have worked out better. But unfortunately, you know, you had in the United States people like Bernie Stola, who was running Sega after Tom Kalinske, uh, poorly, I might add, in my opinion, um, who really just didn't seem to think much of the Sega Saturn um, and, uh, you know, gave up on it. So let's actually do um, one more Sweet 16 uh, cards game, uh, and then we'll uh, show a little bit more of this game, and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. Because I'm just having some fun with this here, and uh, let's actually do one more puzzle here. Maybe. 
So, uh, take a good look here. These mini dancing Amaronamis. Actually, um, take a look at the uh, opening to this game here, which is uh, very, very cool. Uh, again, I'm a little uh, concerned that this is going to affect the copyright on this video because it does play Amuro Nami music while it's showing a montage. But uh, I, this should be okay. Um, but uh, here you can see the full motion video capabilities of the Sega Saturn here being showcased uh, in this game here. Now, uh, Sega AM2 released uh, another uh, visual CD game, a uh, series of games actually, the Virtua Fighter um, Character Portrait Series, uh, which is uh, very, very uh, cool. It's got uh, various uh, J-pop vocal songs uh, themed around the different characters of Virtua Fighter 2, and uh, it's uh, quite, quite beautiful. Uh, I actually ordered the Kage Maru one, so we'll do a review on that as soon as it comes. So, you know, awesome montages right here. And you can definitely see why Amuro Nami was very popular and continues to be popular. Uh, not only her singing voice, but the beauty of Tetsuya Komuro's keyboard playing is uh, just fantastic. So now we uh, hear Chase the Chance after uh, You're My Sunshine. Chase, Chase, Chance. Tetsuya Komuro, he just had a string of, you know, amazing, amazing keyboard music and beautiful female singers, and that was a winning combo for him. And, you know, I love Japanese culture from the 1990s, because it really took the best of uh, the aesthetics of the West from the 1980s, and also uh, the 90s, and then filtered them f through a Japanese cultural prism, and you really got the best of the 80s and 90s. Um, with some really unique style, so I'm a huge fan of 90s Japanese uh, pop culture. I mean, I'm still a fan of pop culture from the present, but this is this is my jam right here. So uh, let's actually uh, quickly check out the um, the karaoke section here, um, which I haven't really done much with. Um, but let's uh, let's see what it's got to offer. So here we see the uh, some footage here, but I don't want to let it play too long because I don't want to get this video taken down. Sing it. So let's actually, we should be safe here. Um, what kind of background do we want here? This should, we should be good with this. So, and I wonder if this has lyrics to it, because I actually haven't done anything with it. I haven't even looked at the karaoke section on this. See those beautiful... Ooh, cool! No, so it, it is basically the... It's, uh, you just get to do the karaoke with the lyrics, so very, very cool. So this is the, uh, the the extra remixed version of You're My Sunshine. So very, very cool. So again, I don't want to get this taken down, so I'm going to kind of minimize that footage right there. But there you have it, guys. This is a digital dance mix volume run with Amaro Nami. I highly, 
highly recommend this game. It is uh, a lot of fun if you like J-pop, if you're a fan of Sega Saturn, if you're a fan of what could have been, if you're a fan of video game history. This is a great game to pick up. I got this on eBay um, for not too much. It usually ranges, depending on its condition, between uh, 40 and 5 bucks. Uh, so if you can find a U.S. seller, all the better. If you're in the United States, you don't have to wait quite as long. But really good game. Until next time, guys, my name's Noel. You take care, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.